Hey, I'm Jamie from Stonemaier Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in the game, the White Castle. The White Castle has a lot going on, but here's a photo that shows some of the things that are happening in this game. Um, it is a media weight Euro game in which you are selecting dice and placing one of those dice on, uh, on the board or on your personal player map. I'm not going to explain the rules. You can check out the rules if you want on a full video, but uh, I'm going to distill it down to my favorite mechanism, as I do on this channel. My favorite mechanism in this game is how the lantern benefit works. The lantern benefit is just off screen down here, but you can kind of see part of the benefit. And this photo also shows this benefit. So this is the lantern benefit. Whenever you see this icon right here and you are placing the dice to gain this icon, you gain all of the icons in this row. And you start off with just one card down there. So you start off with just one icon. So if I gain the lantern benefit, I would gain one pearl. But as you can see in this other photo, you can have an ongoing row of cards there. So you can gain multiple benefits from this lantern benefit. Um, the reason I'm mentioning this benefit specifically is that it's tied to a few other mechanisms that I think are exceptionally clever, but they all come back to the lantern for me. I mean, the lantern is the key hook for making those other mechanisms work. One of those mechanisms is that as you move your, uh, your courtiers, up on into the castle, you gain cards. So like when this player placed this meeple here, they gained a card that was here and they placed it right here on their player map, which is in itself is a really cool benefit because whenever you place a die on your, your player map, you can see there's a place for a red, a black and a white die here. You gain all of the exposed benefits here and you gain the benefit on this card. That in itself is really neat. But many of these benefits involve the lanterns and so you, gain, you can activate the lantern benefit as well. Also, when you place a card on the slot, you replace the card that was there, and the card that was there is flipped over on its backside and placed in this row of cards. So as you place cards here to improve these benefits, you also improve your lantern benefit. Again, everything is tied back to this lantern benefit. The other element of the game that I think is exceptionally clever and also ties back to the lantern benefit is the worker selection or the dice selection i don't know if i have a great photo of it yeah you can kind of see a photo of it here but on these bridges on the board there are three bridges at the beginning of each round you're going to roll the red black and white dice and you're going to order them from least to greatest on each of these bridges um and on your turn you were selecting one of these dice from either end so you're either selecting the most the highest value die or the lowest value die the highest value die is nice to take because it often re results in you gaining coins when you place it so for example, when this player placed this three value black die, if they took it from the highest, if that was the highest value die at the time, and if the number printed on the board was lower than three, then you gain the difference in coins. If the number, if this three was less than the value printed on the board, let's see if I have an example of values printed on the board. Here's a one right here, but they're, they're more easily seen in other photos. Um, but if you place a number that's lower than that number printed on the board, you have to pay that cost. So you can always place the die, but you have to pay that cost in coins, or you gain that cost in coins if you're placing the higher die. So that's if you choose the higher value of the die in of that color. However, if you choose the lower value, so say there was this three and there was a two and there was a one, and you chose that one, you get to place that one value die. Um, maybe you have to pay a coin cost based on where you place it. But as you take that die, you also get to activate your lantern benefit. And so there's this great choice in this game. This is this, this numerical parity idea in this game where high values are great. You gain coins, you often gain coins from them, but low values often give you an even better benefit because you are activating your entire lantern benefit when you take that die. And that feels really, really good, especially if you've built up that lantern benefit a little bit. It also gives you a great choice in the game, a dynamic choice really in the game um, when you're choosing that die because you are impacting the choice that the next player has if there are remaining dice on that bridge. So yeah, those are my favorite mechanisms in the game, all tied back to this lantern benefit that feels increasingly good as you play. I really, really enjoyed that benefit. I felt very rewarding, especially as it ties to these other benefits that you gain in the game. That's my favorite mechanism in the White Castle. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've played the game, if you have a favorite mechanism, or if this reminds you of another game, this mechanism about the, the lantern increasing in value over the course of the game. If that reminds you of another game, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.